What's good, y'all? Code Sounds here. I always clap my hands when I do that. But, uh, we're going to talk about something. Yesterday, uh, whenever I uploaded this video, there was an Ubisoft event. I didn't really watch too much of it. All I know that we seen some of the Watch Dogs 2 gameplay, the Assassin's Creed, whatever gameplay. I think it's about how the people saying it's. It's just like Witcher when he was looking at the trailers, but if you watch the gameplay, it's just like Odyssey and uh, the other, the other uh, Assassin's Creed. Game. I can't think of the name of it. The one in Egypt. But uh, we ain't gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about something that uh, Ubisoft owns and they keep teasing a release, but they they, they actually not even teasing it. They ain't not even they, yeah, I guess you could say it's a damn tease because they put them in DLC characters, I mean, video games. Sam Fisher and Ghost Recon, the other Ghost Recon, Breaking Point or something, the, the shitty Ghost Recon games. Even though her wildness is not bad, but Breaking Point is trash. But it's weird to say, I saw this damn trailer, no thanks. So I don't know. He's in a quote unquote mobile game, MOBA. It's not really a MOBA, it's like one of those, uh, so attack, not attack of the shooters. It's one of those strategy games, like that Mario Rabbit's game in XCOM. I think I don't. I haven't really seen no gameplay of it, but it kind of pissed me off. Which I want to do a rant video, but I'm not gonna do a rant video. This is actually got me thinking: Are we ever gonna see another Splinter Cell game? I ain't gonna lie to you. I think the series said. Well, they saying it isn't dead, which I actually heard articles about that. Cause I was looking into it like a while ago that the series is not dead, but they keep putting Sam Fisher in DLC and other games and their shittier games. Like, they got his goggles in Division, but they had no plans for the Splinter Cell series, which it kind of pissed me off. It's like one of the few games I actually like. Like, back when I was a kid, Ubisoft was the shit with some of the games they had. They had Prince of Persia, the trilogy, that shit was for Flames. Of course, Splinter Cell is like my favorite series. I think Rayman, I think the 3D Rayman was part of that series also. But now they just go on Assassin's Creed Watch Dogs. It's like, it's, it's, these like all the games you see pretty much right here. Assassin's Creed, Tom Clancy, which Rainbow Six Siege, which is not bad, but it's not a Rainbow Six it's a multiplayer Rainbow Six game, but it's not the older games like the Vegas and other stuff like that. Uh, Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed, I don't know what this is. Assassin's Creed Division, Watch Dogs, Watch Dogs, Ghost Recon. Yeah, I remember they had Rayman, a 3D game I want to bring up. But the point of this video, actually, uh, are we going to see a, another Splinter Cell game? Like, I lost hope because I think the last Winter Cell game came out was Blacklist back in like the PS3, Xbox 360 era. And this is actually about to be on the second guess gen, I guess you could say. I said Rayman, 3, Rayman 3D. That's a Rayman game I actually remember. It's actually a Rayman game I actually played before. Uh, you know, before they got popular with the other BS. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. We're gonna talk about Ubisoft and Splinter Cell. We, how we gonna? I think the only way we gonna end up visually seeing it is a company like Microsoft purchase the license again, like they did with Commission. Cause you remember back when Splinter Cell came back, I guess on at that time the last gen, which is 360 and stuff. Splinter Cell Commission was like an exclusive. It was like an exclusive to like Xbox and I think PC. Which I think they came out. Come on. By the way, I am in the process of getting a, new, a game with PC. It still haven't came in yet, the parts. But yeah, I got I got all the Splitter Cell games, like I said. Well, not all of them. I got the mobile, well, handheld ones, like the PSP version. I think that's like a greatest hits. Double Agent on the PS2, which is different than. Double Agent on the PS3 and uh, 360. 
Which I might buy that on PC now because that game is not optimized very well. It's like I didn't really notice it when I was younger because like I said I was young playing this type of shit. But Double Agent, I actually liked it. But the game's only two dollars. Goddamn, I'm gonna look up on Steam too. I'm gonna do some game shop shopping on Steam also for these Twitter sale games. Cash, you want to play it on the channel? But yeah, Kavisha, it came out. What has release date? But it never came out on uh the PS3. April. Oh wow, that's a long time. Ten years ago, and this came out three years. Like I said, but this game was actually good. I actually liked it. It's like probably had the best gameplay out of this type of style of a Twitter cell game. Cause this is two different types of stealthy games. But uh like I said, I think the only way you might actually end up seeing it is maybe if Microsoft pick up the rights of the game again. Or just buy the license. Like Sony been doing that with like a couple of games. Like they helped made Street Fighter 5. That's why you might not never see Street Fighter 5 on Xbox. Cause I think Sony put in help into making that. And same with Bayonetta 2, I think, on Nintendo Switch. I think Nintendo has helped develop the game for Bay Bayo 2. So you might not never see that on other gens. Which and I, I heard they announced like a Bayonetta 3. Which like a teaser trailer, which you might not see that anytime soon. Like all the Nintendo games or it's Metroid, but uh, yeah, this is like my only way we'll end up seeing this game because they been people we everybody been wanting a new Splinter Cell. They know we want a new Splinter Cell. I think I made a video a while ago talking about they bit voice acting a new Splinter Cell. Like I said, I won't be surprised during this Xbox event they have it coming up in within. I think on the 27th or something, at the end of July, that they'll announce a new Splinter Cell game or something. And they'll be exclusive to Microsoft or something. Like I said, because Microsoft, they need some games. Okay, they have no exclusives. And they've been buying up a lot of small companies and big companies to develop games for their new Xbox. I ain't going to lie to you. Like, if that does happen, this might be my probably first console I'm probably going to get if it don't come out on PC because like I said I have I do got a gaming PC on, coming on the way but it's pretty much just a rambling video I was just talking if you ever go see a new Splinter Cell I'm a little disappointed because I was watching that that shit was trash that's Ubisoft event hey they showed the new Assassin's pre-game play which I'm not surprised about that it's funny because Assassin's Creed used to be like used to be my favorite game because I, I used to mess with the multiplayer pretty heavy on it. Like Assassin's Creed Black Flag, I was playing the multiplayer the most. I guess you could say on that one. It was another one. I think it was three. But I think Black Flag, I probably played the most time into the multiplayer. I like stealth type of mo I like stealth games if you haven't known right now. And I know it's a lot of games I put most of my time into are in terms of multiplayer, is like the stealth based ones. Because, like I said, I used to play Black Flag multiplayer a lot. I actually played it way more. And I, had me, I didn't even beat Black Flag. What else? Uh, uh, Last of Us multiplayer. I, play, I was like, actually, I was a sweat in that game. The multiplayer in uh, Double Agent. I'm a big fan of the co op modes they some of the self has. Like, I don't know, man. I, I'm getting a little disappointed right now because the last Splinter Cell game came out was back in 2013. That's like seven years ago. I don't know why because I guess they probably feel like the game won't sell well. Which I hate when they say that. Alright, uh, can I see the sale? I think, I think they put it on here on Wikipedia. All right, Splinter Cell game series sales. God damn, this damn table is so squeaky. All right. Sales. I found it before. A 
Okay. This is click Chaos 3, Pandora tomorrow. This is the first one. It's crazy. Double agent. Commission, which sold 2 million. The Blacklist, which is sold 2.11 million on three platforms. And we don't know the PC one, by the way. The PC actually a big key. I guess I could see why, because they first game sold 6 million, but that's like back in 2002. That's about ass because it's a single player based games. It, it has a cult following. Which which is crazy because the game was actually good, but I guess it came I guess it was it was coming out around like the Call of Duty hype and shit like that. But yeah, for those who want to know, this is actually my beat channel. If it pops up. Subscribe to that. I just uploaded it. But uh like I said, will we ever see another Splinter Cell game? Maybe, we hope so. It has a cult following, but I understand why they don't. They not thinking about it, because as you can tell, they put Sam Fisher in like DLC and other, other other games, which is trash. But uh, like I said, this is not. I was just. I guess it was like a meeting rant, rant, of me just complaining. Microsoft is probably my last hope. This Microsoft event might be my last hope of seeing something Spoon and Sam related. So if you enjoyed this video, if you're probably not, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If they somehow at least a trailer to a Spoon and Cell game for next gen, I might do a wish list video or something. Mother day, I'll catch you guys later, so peace.